In this video, I'm going to show you how to record an invoice as paid, but some different common scenarios that come up and that might come up for your business. Okay, so let's start off with just creating a new invoice. Now, in another video, I did cover that in more detail, but I'll just do a quick one now. So we're doing coming to our plus new button in the corner. Then in our customer column, we're gonna create a new invoice. So it's blank. And we are going to start off by selecting a customer. So let's say it's a customer already in our customer list. Now, this is a sample company, a pretend, um, a pretend company with pretend transactions. So if you want to have access to this sample account, the link is in the description so you can practice and explore. Okay, so we're going to select a customer in their list. And let's say it's Diego. Now he's already in the customer list, so his contact information pops up automatically. We're gonna leave all this the same. You could change it if you want. Okay, so here we're just going to select quickly. It was for design services. And now you could say that it was for a certain quantity by a certain rate, and then it will, calc it will multiply, it will calculate it for you. Um, or you could just say a flat amount. So let's say it's for $800. Okay, so now this we're invoicing this customer for $800. So you could do save and send, but in our case, we just want to save and close it. We're just recording it into QuickBooks, save and close. Okay, so where did it go? We're going to go to the left menu into sales. We go to sales. And because it's an invoice, you could go to specifically the invoices tab, or you can just go to all sales. So we're going to go to all sales. We're in all sales, and then we come down, and there it is, because it's it's ordering it by date. So that the one we just made shows up first. So that's that's handy. Um, so here it's saying that it's open, which is right. It's not due yet. Um, but now we're ready to receive the payment for it. So we're gonna receive the payment for this invoice. So let's say it's a couple days later, he has paid us. And so now we're gonna receive the payment. So we click, um, click the blue link there to receive the payment. And because we clicked the receive payment on the row of the invoice, that it's paying, then it fills in some information for us. So that saves a little time. So it already selects the customer for us and it checks off the invoice number that this is paying. So that's great. Um, I always just like to double check this. Is that the correct invoice I wanted to pay? Um, but because we selected that link on the row of the invoice, it's checking off the correct invoice. So that is, is great as well. Um, the payment date on the left side, um, they, we received payment, let's say it was on November 2nd. So we're going to change it to the date that we received the payment. Um, if for some reason you don't know how they paid you, maybe you're, this is catching up from, um, you're, you're trying to catch up with your books and you don't remember exactly how they paid you. Um, this could be left blank. It's not required to enter this information, but the more information, the better. So we will say that we know he paid us by check with this check number. All right. And this is going to be a separate topic um, for another video, but most of the time it should be um, selected as undeposited funds. Um, your account, they recently changed the title of this account. Yours might be called payments to deposit. So most of the time you should have this selected. So it's either it's going to be called undeposited funds or payments to deposit. Okay, so we're going to come over to the right and show that the amount was received, but he didn't pay us the 800. The invoice is not due yet, and he just decided to go ahead and pay part of it. So we want to record that this is a partial payment. So the invoice is for 800. So QuickBooks just automatically filled in 800 for us, assuming that's what was paid. But in our example, no, he only paid 500. 
So he decided, I'm just going to go ahead and pay you 500 and then I'll pay you 300 on the due date. So that's fine. We need to come in and record that we only received. So notice it's saying amount received. It was just 500. Notice when we typed in 500, the amount on this row was updated. So it shows the amount is 800, the balance is 800, but the payment is 500. So the amount that we're gonna, that QuickBooks will apply to this invoice is 500. Okay, so, and again, making sure that this is checked off. So make sure that the correct invoice has a check. This should not be unchecked. Um, we wanna make sure that this is checked so QuickBooks will link this payment to this invoice. Okay, now down here at the bottom, if you need to put in any more information, you can. If you wanna put a memo about this payment, anything you wanna remind yourself of later, you don't wanna forget. Um, if you want to attach a picture of the check, um, attach the picture of, or attach a file, a PDF, um, any, any attach a file or an image, you could do that here. Um, but in this case, we're done. We're gonna go ahead and say, I'm clicking this arrow on the side, just say save and close. I don't wanna do a new payment, I just save and close, done with that. Okay, so let's see where we are currently at. We come here, we see our invoice for 800, but notice the status, it's partially paid. The balance is 300, which is right. We just recorded the payment of 500. So there's a balance of 300. The payment is recorded in a separate row. It is linked because we checked off that, that invoice. So we did, we did click the checkbox or it was um, clicked correctly. So here it is linked to this invoice, but it's just on a separate row on our list. $500, that all looks great. But now let's say it's a few days later. Now it's the due date and Diego has paid the remaining balance. So now we need to record the rest of that. So we'll come back to our invoice. So we look for the row that says invoice. There's the original total of 800 and now we're ready to receive payment. Okay, so the due date for this invoice was November 26th. So let's say that's when he paid the rest of it. So we will change our payment date that we received payment on November 26th. And let's say that this time he paid us in cash. So, you know, it's okay if he first time he paid with one payment method and then switch payment methods. You're just, we're just recording into QuickBooks what happened. So first time they pay with a check, this payment of 300, this one was in cash. Um, and again, this will be a separate topic, but the safest option would be this one. You could always fix this. If you actually choose your checking account, um, there's different reasons why it might not be ready to go in there yet. So the safest place is gonna be this one. Again, yours might be called payments to deposit, but it's the same, same idea. Okay, so here we've got our payment. $300 on the right, amount received, yep, that's right, $300, and the invoice is checked off. Original 800, open balance 300, and the payment is 300. So it's going to apply a payment of 300. We're gonna save and close and see now what does our list look like? So here we go. Our invoice on the left, our invoice, is saying 800. And then we have our two separate rows that say payment of our two separate payments, the 500 and 300. And now our invoice says a balance of zero and green, it is paid. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. So that's how you record an invoice that it was partially paid. And then when it is eventually fully paid, how you can, you can um, record separate payments or multiple payments towards that invoice. So if they may, maybe gave you three payments toward that invoice, you, you would have then three payment rows. So you can, um, you know, you can split that up as much as whatever the, the situation was. It doesn't have to be two times. It could be, you know, maybe five times. They paid you in five payments until the 800 was fully paid. So you would just keep it, this, this blue receive payment. It'll stay here until until they have paid you $800. Okay, 
So that's what to do with partial payments toward an invoice. 